training in ESL classrooms. We appreciate and wholeheartedly welcome today's guest speaker, Dr. P. Arun Nehru, for the webinar. I welcome Principal Engineering, KLH, and all functionaries and staff of the university present in here. And I welcome all the learned participants to dive into the world of language learning in this new normal. Thank you, everyone. Let me call upon Coordinator FED, Dr. Vinutma Reddy, to speak a few words. Over to you, ma'am. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, good afternoon to all the respected dignitaries and the resource person, Dr. Harun, and the participants partic uh, present here. Yeah, I welcome you all to the third Distinguished Lecture Series webinar about the teach teaching strategies for the 21st century teachers. As our English department already conducted two webinars as a series of lecture series on, on this uh, strategy, learning new normal form. <clears throat> so as a third one, we are conducting it today. So I would like to congratulate the entire English department of KLH, especially the Panda sir, for initiating us and enlightening us with the new teaching strategies that we need to adapt during this new normal. So like as we know that the present generation students are having many e-resources to learn the courses or the knowledge, whatever they need for their engineering or to pursue any kind of career. But though the many e-resources are available to the students as a teacher, as a facilitator, we should also learn and we should make them understand the course and all the different, like we should set them, so set their career goals properly with the new strategies. As we habituate with the conventional way of classroom teaching, as due to this pandemic and we moved to the online and it is difficult for the students to understand everything when we start teaching only in online mode. But as a teacher, it is our responsibility to make them understand what we are teaching with the different strategies. So to give such kind of knowledge to the teachers, the, uh, Dr. Panda has initiated this. I would like to congratulate him. And thank you for everyone for sparing your precious time to attend this webinar. Now I would like to welcome the guest speaker, Dr. Arun Nehru, to give his valuable inputs on this session. Thank you. Yeah, over to uh, Arun Nehru, sir. Uh, Arun Nehru, sir. Uh, please, please start your session, sir. Thank you, ma'am. In just a minute, madam. Uh, we'll mm -hmm. have. Uh, ma'am. We we bio half here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hello. So file ready. Yeah. Sir? Yeah. yeah. Uh, before uh, Arun Nehru Garu starts, I'm sorry for interrupting you, sir. Uh, I would like to thank you, ma'am, for your brief introduction. And uh, I want to introduce you to today. I'm very privileged to introduce you to today's guest speaker. He is none other than Dr. P. Arun Nehru Garu. He has done his MA in English, MA in Linguistics, MED, and AFL. Sir then has obtained his doctorate in English language education from the EFLU Hyderabad and is currently working as assistant professor in pedagogy of English at RIE Mysore. He has conducted many seminars on investigation into effectiveness of the use min mapping software to enhance reading comprehension and enhance reading of expository texts. He has also conducted many workshops and has published papers to his credit. He has pursued a diploma in MS office and in the field of digital literacy. He has also acquired skills in speed typing, ICT tools, EHC learning, and so on. He has a vast teaching experience from 2014 as teaching assistant of EFLU, currently working as assistant professor at Pedagogy of English at RIE Mysore. He has been called in various national and international conferences and workshops to deliver lectures. He is a permanent guest lecturer for NCRT. He is known for his meticulous planning, organizational ability, and a great scholar who tend to explore in educational psychology, teaching pedagogy, and most often known for his commitment as a compliment from his professors. I am privileged to welcome you, sir. Over to you. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Thank you for the wonderful introduction. So I hope everybody will know me, right? I hope my voice is very clear now. Yes, sir. Good. So let me share my screen. Yeah, 
Now, uh, first thing is that when it comes to online teaching strategies for 21st century teachers. So just to remember teaching, teaching is the main keyword here. Teaching strategies, how we teach because of the pandemic situation, everybody's talking about the current situation, new normal, right? Here, we have to understand online learning st strategies. What are the strategies that do in the classroom, particularly classroom strategies that we are going to see? There are a few things you have to understand. Today, I'm not going to give you a kind of lecture. Today is kind of interaction, discussion on 21st century skills and 21st century learning so that we understand the role of the teachers. What is the role that we have to play as an important thing? So we have to understand by doing this, first thing to interact with you people, I have some question to understand so that you can reflect on some questions that I have. First question, what is meant by 21st century learning skills? And how do these skills connected to global issues facing the 21st century? At present we are. Please think about it. When the time comes, you have to answer. Right. To what extent are these skills, 21st century skills, new or different from skills that are have been like required to live, like kind of life skills or career skills in early centuries? For example, 21st century skills, now we talk about. What about 20th century skills? Is it the same or something new? We have to understand. So we have to understand what are they. Then we have to understand whether it is new or something is different there. And the third question, how can we overcome the challenges of helping students develop 21st century skills? That is what we have to worry about more because within the context of remote and socially distant teaching is going on at present. So everybody agree that because of pandemic situation, we are not with face-to-face -face teaching, right? So mostly as kind of online learning, teaching, happen, teaching happens. So we have to think, then what do you mean by 21st century skills? Here I have some link for you so that you can reflect on me on, on the question that I have. So let me share in the group now. Yes. Please, everyone, uh, don't follow the Google Meet. Uh, just open for two minutes for the interaction. Open the link that I have shared with you. Once you open, you will get the link like this. Did you get the link? So people can answer me in the um, chat, in call message, in Google Meet. So if you open, you get it. this. This is mainly for the platform for interaction. So if you interact, that will be more meaningful. If you lecture, you can understand it's a kind of monotone. Yes. Everybody, did you open? Shall we start? So let's think. Right. Is there anything that somebody pointed out something or find out something? Anybody wants to say something by looking at this topic here? Okay, I have mentioned, let's think. Shall we do that activity? Very good. I want to check you whether you are attentive. Can you see there is some mistake here? What is the mistake here? Anybody? Okay, capital U. Okay, good, U. Mm -hmm. Actually, already it is there. Let's let us think. So we should not have us. So I want to check you whether you are alert and everybody is here with me. Work okay, again. We will start the question first one. Okay. Here, first thing is that does learning as a process have to cease because of uh, students and teachers are not gathered in one place as a person in person? We are not meeting. Do you agree that we have to stop learning? because we are not able to meet each other. We are not able to get together, come together in one place. Can you answer here? You can answer here. Once you answer, I can get the result here. Can you answer? Go to the Zittings, the link I have shared in the uh, in-call message, where you can go and click on the button here. 
right only two people are there i can see in the in the link only two people are there you can see the screen too yes can you join more i can see 36 people are there if you are just open the link and then do your homework here and there it will not be working here i want everybody to be participating here participation is more important can you join everybody only two people joined and two people answered yes Again, I will share the link, those who join newly, right? Please, please join the link. Please, everyone, I request you to join because I can see only two. Yeah, now I can see three. But people are there in the link, 35. Yes, very good. Now four people. Yes, come on, five. Very good. I want at least 20. There are 35 are there. At least minimum 20 people should be there. Okay, six. Before I go to the next one, I want at least minimum number of participation here. Yes, yes, come on. There are, there are six and uh, they are saying, yes, we have to stop learning. Mm, I will get the link, uh, report that who said uh, we should stop learning and who said we have to not stop learning. Learning should continue. Yes, eight people. If it is 10, I will move to the next one. Eight, please. Few more, two more. Okay, good. So we can say majority says learning, we never stop. Even though it is online, whatever platform we have, we have to continue learning process because humans, we always learn. Whatever we do, before we die, till the time we die, we always learn something. So learning should always continue. We never say stop learning, stop thinking. We never say that. From the like earliest century, what we have, the history we have, still now, even in the digital age, we have to always think. If we don't think, we are not human then. Good. Let's go to the next one. How do you define 21st century skills? Can you type and then say a few words about what do you mean by? OK, you want again the link? How do you define 21st century skills? What is that? Because everybody is talking about 21st century, century skills like that. And you might have attended so many webinars like that. Yes, can you type it there in the box? This is open-ended question, divergent thinking. Anybody can think in their own way. OK, online teaching, OK, excellent uh, sense of online tools. That means I can understand online. So when it comes to 21st century, it's like online. OK, good. What about others? There are nine people out there. Can we have more answers? OK, in the, OK, with technology, right? We say online, technology, right? Even somebody says in the in-call messages saying that great exposure platforms, very good. So we understood that something related to, OK, virtual platform, very nice. And ICT tools, excellent. So we can understand that something is related. When we say 21st century skill, OK, creative thinking, right? Good, not only technology, we also understand that creative thinking technically, right, empowers people. Communication skills, very good. There are three Cs are there, good. And techno literacy, digital literacy, virtual learning, very good, digitally to learn, right? Excellent, so you understood that. Let us see what is that. In the 21st century skills, we generally say, you can see here, college and career readiness. We have to make our learners to be ready for the career. And for that, we have to understand critical thinking, creativity, communication, collaboration. Sir, somewhere I have seen already these things. Creative thinking are all there, right, already. Communication is also there. That is what we have been teaching English language. No, creativity. We do science experiments, a lot of things, creative writing, stories, poetry. So many things are doing, but still, why we call it as new skills? Is it something new there? Let us see. What do you say? Do you agree that knowing how to think critically, analytically, or creatively, these are the skills specific to only 21st century skills? Do you agree that? Can you answer here? There are seven people are there. Oh, good. No. 
That means something is there. So I want you to think, what is there? Why it is not only specific to 21st century skills? It is there already, but still people are saying that uh, 21st century skills means creative thinking, analytical thinking, critical thinking, and communication skills. Why do they say? Is there something new in that? Why it is more important now? The skills were already there. Yes, very good. So these are the skills like for all time. But why we mention when it comes to 21st century skills, when you type in Google also, you get all this only. Why people talk about this when it comes to 21st century? Let us see here. So now I want you to answer. You want to ensure that participation of more students in the classroom. For example, I want more people to participate. Out of 35, I can see only seven people are active here. I want you to rate it. Which method do you apply in your classroom for encouraging the students to participate? Can you rate it? OK, role play. People are saying the role play. Here, can you rate it in this Zittings? When you come to Zittings, OK, uh, I think people give the ratings here. Let us see which one is most highest priority you are going to give here. You can move. There are arrows are there. When you open that, you can click there so that it will go higher. OK, people saying that uh, discussion, role play. Can you move this one? Can you see? Is it possible for you to move here? I can see seven people are there, joined here. But I can't see anybody is moving. Only one person moved here. You have the arrow mark, right? Yes, good. So now we can say discussion is a more very important. Then, then comes role play, then comes any kind of demonstration or something. So first thing is that discussion. That is why I started the presentation with a kind of interaction with you. I want you to talk. I want you to interact, participate. Then only it becomes a very meaningful time we spend together to learn each other. Right. Here, when it comes to collaborative learning strategy, that is what I have been talking about, right? Turn remote learning into uh, an opportunity. This one, somebody asked me, Panda sir asked me that, can you take today? I said, yes, why not? Because I've been teaching and then making the learners here, pedagogy of English, how to teach the methods of teaching online. So I have been training here to students with a lot of tools here to use the computers, not only for face to face, even we can engage the learners through computer screens. Do you agree that you are engaged in now at least eight, seven people? Right? And a few people are there in the Google Meet too. Yes, you agreed. Good. So the more engagement, the more collaboration, then we can say the classroom strategies are appropriate for the 21st century skills. Good. Let's come back to our presentation here. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you for answering me. Now, I have something for you to say in the 21st century learning. Very quickly, I will go through very fast. Right? Here, you see, very carefully listen, because I have some questions also for you. That means I want you to think about it. First one, you can say to know. Basic thing about factual things, to know. It's fundamental knowledge. For example, my subject knowledge like that, right? Here, the basic in the 21st century is everybody said technology, literacy, ICT. Yeah, right? Your answers are very good, because you can see here, first thing is digital literacy. If you go for any interview, first thing they are asking, you are aware of all the platforms, WebEx, Microsoft Team, right? Using and PowerPoint and any other uh, softwares like I'm going to show you a few minutes after. And you can see here your core knowledge, English, physics, chemistry, or CCE or Triple E, IT, whatever you are teaching there. The main core knowledge. Is it enough? No. One more thing is therefore to know. That is called cross-disciplinary. For example, you are from physics, but you should know language skills for communication. Without appropriate communication, you can't go and interact with your students and communicate with the students and express your ideas what is exactly to be communicated. So these are the basic skills that you have to have. So always technology, technology, people talk, think, right? Let us see what is that to do with in the know. After we know something we are going to do, to act. That is called meta knowledge. First is knowledge. Next is application. You are going to apply that. It's a kind of act. So let us see first one. That is what we have been 
now talking about ccc that is creativity or innovation next one you can see problem solving or critical thinking just we have discussed right again one more is there it is creativity and again communication and collaboration so here we have to understand how it is connected here we are not just connected with the creativity critical and collaboration we are not just we are going to say synthesize everything we are not missing out something and then adding something new here so what is that something missing that we have lost it in our uh, discussion here something called to value people say no discipline sir people are not able to you know, understand what is mental um like values if you say values moral values right etiquette dining table etiquette classroom etiquette discipline we say for the teachers also mental health is more important when it comes we talk more about multiple intelligence in that when it comes to humanistic knowledge it is emotional intelligent we have to teach humans so human values we have to teach without value you teach them what to know all the subjects and you also make them to think well critically creatively but without values is it valid will it be okay can we miss out this values that is where we have to understand synthesize the values also with the 21st century skills it is all time so what are they life skills job skills we can say and ethics emotional i just now said emotional intelligence right we have to understand that one more thing is there it is cultural competence it is like cultural when i say language it's a part of culture language and society culture is a part of language communication when i say collaboration when it's a knowledge cultural knowledge the competence so everything comes you can see the 21st century learner so you understand now this is what we are thinking whenever we teach we have to think to know to act and to value so if you understand the basic principles of 21st century learning we can be a good and creative teacher and we can be effective teacher so let us see something i have activity i told you right what is that i have here for you let us see here this is something i created for example i am teaching imagine this is a classroom okay because i am going to give some tips also here it is like it is something it gives them motivation because randomly i am going to choose imagine i am going to see the names here the first one from alphabetic order my name is there after that amit and everybody is going on right so let us see imagine this is a classroom that you are teaching randomly i want to choose so i click it here and then i stop i don't know which number comes so it comes as middle so again i try and again i stop so which number comes it is number 5 so i can chase uh, choose the number 5 uh, something like 1 2 3 4 5 i think divya is there fifth one so i can ask question divya are you there so i can ask so divya can talk to me diya right okay diya are you there means um the co-host uh, enabled your microphone can you so it's making you to be alert i don't know even i'm going to call diya even diya doesn't know that i'm going to call are you there okay if you are there better you can also answer the message i can watch in the message the question you can answer me right this is the question what was there here what was this here can you answer me yes anybody otherwise okay what was this in here what is that you have seen just now to know what is the next one anybody in the comment box okay meta knowledge very good the keyboard is mainly to act very nice good very good so now we can see the answer meta knowledge and you can see to act very good now sir it is like same but i want to know for example somebody is not even answering right in my classroom there are two students are not able to focus they are not able to answer or they are not even participating so we have to give more time for them can you see something here it's a kind of reservation i reserve the number one student more because that particular student is not answering most of the time 
So the tenth students or ninth, seventh students answer appropriately, right? Yeah, the spin will make them to be alert. We don't know who is like going to get. For example, I'm going to choose. Whenever I choose one, this wheel, we can see most of the time people get one or two. This is five. Let me click again. So we can see here number three because three has two chances and one has three chances. So what happens here? The person who is there number three will get two chances. Often will be you know, answering. That means the students will be more alert day by day in your classroom. That means the participation from the particular students from back benches, we say, right? They also start opening their mouth. They also participate in the classroom. So this is how we can also design the wheels for people, those who are not able to participate. There's a not even opening their mouth. So here we can say number three, right? We can go ahead. Imagine I call somebody's name and then I go ahead and then ask, what is that first one you have seen here? What skill is that to know? In the 21st century skills. Everybody also answered in the question. Yes. Can you answer in the comment? Very good. Digital and then ICT skills. Excellent. Good. Very good. So you are very alert now. So we can understand here. It is ICT and digital literacy. Good. These are the things simply recall. Factual information. Simply we remember. Right. We simply Remember exactly what is it there, what is it there. And we have to go from lower order skills to higher order. Now we are going to have a kind of question with the term, and we also can have comparison also. Now I want you to think about what is there in the act. Randomly I can choose. I can also ask students to answer. I can also ask any two participants come forward and then have a question for somebody's other people also. Imagine I am asking question, what is there in the act? What are the things you have seen in the act? Three important things. Anybody? Can you? Act means what? What was there? Three CC. I have given you the clue also. Very good. Creativity. Critical. Yes. Collaboration. Yes, collaboration. So we can see here. Now I can show it. Then I can close it. Imagine I have completed all things. Now I can also compare these two. Till the time they master, instead of presenting as a thing I have done in the previous slides, now I'm not presenting. Now what happens? I am engaging them. I am making them to think, comparing, contrasting, right? So I can ask again, till the time they master, till the time they answer well with the wheels, I can choose the names. I can go with the activity here. This is something like making them to you know, involve into this activity what we do. And one more thing I will tell you here, little higher order. It is kind of reorganization. It is like focus. I want students to focus more. Can you tell me something missing here? Something reorder. Which one is wrong? Very quickly, I have done only oh, one. Emotional awareness, ethical. Very good. Emotional awareness is not there in the act. It is in the value. Very good. So immediately you pointed out. So just to point out, I want you to focus on the slide. That means I am making you to be active, engaged in the classroom. Instead of presenting, making them kind of monotone, listen to that. And they will not be there also. They will be like leaving this mobile screen and go here and then do some other activity too. So always we have to make sure that students are with you. Right. Let's move to the next one. Here. I have something critic that I have already discussed with you. Still, again, I'm going to repeat it again because I want you to think critically about 21st century skills. Yes, you clearly told me it is not new. It was there already. It is not new, but it is newly important skills at present. These are the skills, new skills, need of the hour. Slowly, we can understand because because of the situation, digital literacy is very important. Core knowledge is very important because road learning, whatever we have like policy, education policy, slowly what happens, people go ahead with the road learning. But we have to make it as a meaningful learning, knowledge construction, participation, then only knowledge construction happens. Whatever you are saying to me, right, answers, that means I can say you are producing the knowledge. I'm not simply telling you, listen to me carefully, today I'm going to present about this, no. It is kind of, eliciting the answers without your knowledge by asking questions 
kind of making you to be interested in that. I will tell you what are they. And here, a century specific, it is not. It is not a century specific. Before also there, 19th century also there. It is there always. Again, people also talk about, is it only 21st century means ICT? Three things you have seen. Is it only ICT? No, it is not just only ICT. It is to act, it is to know, it is to value all the skills. So people get confused. When somebody asked you in the beginning, 21st century skills, everybody mentioned virtual learning, ICT, digital, like no environment. You are going to say like no online digital things, but people forget about the values. People forget about the critical thinking and analytical thinkings and all. It is all the skills, life skills that we need. Good. Now you see here, Socrates told, think, ask question, don't simply accept. So it is not new. John Dewey is known for thinking skills, creative thinking skills, divergent thinking skills. So educationists always talk about these skills, not only for the 21st century. So it is already there. It is already there. But only thing is that it becomes the need of the hour. It's very essential we have to think to focus. It is there already, but what happens now? We have to focus on those skills now. Good. Let us go to the uh, next one. The challenges, how to like you know, face it and then how to be an effective teacher and how can you make the learners to be engaged. For that, I will tell you one thing. I can't give you a lot of uh, methods and strategies, but I give you only one. This is really better because it is a kind of mixing all the good things and making as a multi-modal teaching strategies. Mode, different modes we are going to mix together so that we are going to see what are the benefits that we are going to have with these strategies. You see here, multimodal teaching means it's a kind of style of teaching where we use different materials, right? To different sensory modalities. For example, I asked you to watch, I asked you to go and click on the screen, right? In the settings, I asked you to go and yourself answer me. And again, you are answering in the what like message in call messages. Again, you are also answering. So I can also give you paper pencil work, creating the mind map or some other tools I can give you like digital tools or I can also make you to do paper pencil as I say, like diagrams under everything, make you to scan and send to me after the activity while teaching also we can do that. And main thing is here, we have to example, you see auditory listening skills, we can make it and uh, visual skills as you are seeing the diagrams and all and tactile touching and then seeing that you no, know, we can also create some activity like a flashcards turn this side and turn this side and we can see that something I can also say, show you some uh, using the PowerPoint we can also make that and main thing is that why it becomes very important today I'm going to suggest you is that multimodal teaching is very successful compared to other methods because it's a mix of good thing it appeals to all types of learning styles somebody is visual learner somebody is like auditory learner somebody is good at listening and learning lecture Somebody is good at, no, I have to read and take notes. Then only I can understand, right? So all the styles can be included when it comes to multimodal teaching so that all types of learners will be comfortable in your classroom and they feel it is meaningful to learn, participate, engage in the classrooms. So I hope you understand why it is more important here. And you see here, the interaction, that is what in the beginning itself I started. The interactive teaching style breaks monotony. So monotonous, same, I am a guest lecture, the guest today, I only talk. No, today everybody is talking, everybody is answering, right? It's mainly to reinforce overall learning. So the more you try interactive sessions, you feel it is more you use your 21st century skills. It is not just you, I want you to program the computer and the computer, no. Just you have to design the tasks in a way that it engages the learners. It engages the learners and be alert and answer and get the good feedback from you. How do you respond to the students' feedback? Students' response, how do you give feedback? It's very essential here. So a few more ideas I'm going to tell you here. A few more ideas, something I'm going to tell you here. Uh, some tools when it comes to different learning styles, I tell you, right? So one thing I'm going to show you, simple sample. For example, whenever I show the concepts, this is one, uh, software 
you can also note it down this is vue visual understanding environment you might have known it to know how do you construct the knowledge not only for constructing the knowledge collaborate it and also how do you teach using the same map for example simple i will tell you here how i use it so that my students can understand better to understand the process of reading this is the material real material not just fake i created for the theory purpose this is what i used it and students also very interactive and then good you can see here the process of looking at i start like that written symbol and getting meaning so reading but not able to understand reading not able to understand then i say getting meaning is different from reading so read and get the meaning next stage is reflect on the text so i will tell you the process slowly one by one and then it goes finally you can see what are the uh, factors that affect the reading process it can be experience or prior knowledge attitude and community the background information then slowly we can say main thing is about it is cognitive complex process we can't go ahead and inside see that it's mainly to understand the meaning to derive at the meaning is given in the passage then i talk about some other aspects and finally i will say it is mainly use your past experience and new incoming meaning that means message to construct the knowledge this is what when we read means people say develop the knowledge not only language we also develop the knowledge so when i say with the diagrams i can share it with them i can do a lot of activities with them like reorganize i can do collaborate i can do the way i have showed you right many things you can do with this software this is one tools that to present the Absolutely. concepts theory if you have very complex theories you have this will be a better tool for you and sometimes people ask sir if there is any logic if there is any kind of logic how can we uh, present it rational that is non linear when it comes to the diagram this is linear linear means it's a logical presentation so this is something called diagrams.net this is also open software whatever i'm giving you is open free software there is nothing like you have to pay you can download and you can use it that is vue virtual understanding environment this is diagrams.net here what happened you can directly see here lamb doesn't work something happened check lamb plugged in no then plug in answer over so this is linear way of answering here here you can also do a lot of things with infographs for example you are going to show what is main thing and what is there in that as a umbrella term and narrow down towards something for example these are the uh, tools that mostly i use it based on the concept that you like it for example i use it for this one i use it for education policy curriculum syllabus and then textbook so same way we can also show with the visual representation so you are not going to create anything just you can choose whatever you like it for example this i like it then i can start using here so imagine you are creating the uh, new uh, things like for example i will show you here how to add and increase here if when you come here nearby there is arrow mark and click it will show you what is the symbol you would like to so each symbol and each color has its own meaning so that we can create a lot of diagrams and make the students to create and send to us how it is possible yes i will show you one more thing that is created by my student so in rie we ask the students to go for internship to schools so here you can see one sample i will show you this is created by my student here can you see how interesting it is so i will tell you here so i will show you the uh, how it views also like preview for example this is a preview when you open the classroom that is uh, the material that is created by my student teaching poetry actually so we can see here the pages and go to the next it is a kind of interactive text they created so we can see here that is a poetry that that student like wants to teach here you can see her voice she can play her own voice she can also share this as an html file so you can see here some close activities are there she has created so students can also involved in this again one more activity you can see here squeeze so students will be thinking what is the title of the poem okay let's see they think again close activity close activity is a kind of uh, fill in the gap gap activity or mcq so we can see here multiple choice question right and then scramble just now i have asked you also to rate it right discussion role play like that so 
students will be asking, making, for example, this is second line. So they will make it as a second line here. And this will be down. Then they can add I saw a snake. Then it will go as a first one. So they will be working busy. That means students will be engaged. The students are engaged means we can understand that learning happens meaningfully. This is the main part you have to understand. So let me come back to uh, the presentation, the slides here. So you understand always I stress about participation, right? How we can make it in education, if you take it education, these things you have to understand. Attention. In the beginning slide, I asked you to pay attention, asked you whether, what is the mistake. So if the students are not attentive, whatever you do, it becomes paste. That is what I have been waiting for you to join the Zittings so that you can be like, pay attention to me. Right. Next, you can say curiosity. Ask, what is the 21st century? So we have to survey. What do you think it about it? What do you mean by skills and learning? Is it new or something? So that you are curious about it, to know more about 21st century skills. Then, yes, I created the interest. Once you create the interest, motivate the learner, we can understand students will participate or engage themselves. You need not say, come on, student. What are you doing? Why you are not able to? What is happening? No need to ask. Once they are interested, they will ask you so many questions. And you can say the positivity starts towards the subject, what they're learning. And you can say the passion comes. This is what we have to say. Students should be engaged. Later, whatever you are doing, the activity, right? That is comes. Like whatever you have prepared, designed the task, everything. With these characteristics, we can say our education system be more meaningful. So we can see here. We can see here the motivation is more important, right? So that all these elements will make the students to, en to be engaged and participate. So you have to also, all the classes, you can start with the attention. Make them to pay attention what you say, what you do. Are you there? Everybody? Yes. Did you pay attention? What is happening? Look at this. Are you with me? Yes. Then create them some kind of curiosity. What is it actually? What is it we are going to do? So make it a kind of interesting thing so that this you can see the motivation happens, the learning happens. Without motivation, only be serious, don't talk, only in my classroom, subject knowledge. We have to also say learning, because always you can see Mkhajadi, Mkhajadi is saying that learning is a joyful experience, not serious experience. So what we are doing is a kind of today, participation. I don't want you to be very serious what I say. Be casual, see what is that, how to include it. Is it meaningful? What we are learning today, is it meaningful? Can you connect with your experience? Is it logical? What are the tools I'm showing you? Are you using it? Otherwise, do you feel like using it? There is no payment, right? You can use it. So next slide, if you say the main thing is creative thinking, I told you, right? There are many main thing, two things you have to understand. One is always a, I say about divergent thinking, like here it is something called design thinking. And one more is lateral thinking. Thinking, thinking, what is thinking? What to think? Sir, always uh, people talk about critical thinking, creative thinking, and all. What to think is very essential. Here, I always go with divergent thinking or design thinking or lateral thinking more compared to critical. The main reason I say creativity is missing. Creativity is missing. Innovation is missing. Why you say like that? Whenever you go for examination, MCQ, it is closed ended, not open ended. So in the slides also, in the beginning, I asked you to start with the open-ended. I asked you a certain type. You can say anything. And I asked you to type and then send me. That is called creativity. Uh, that is what divergent thinking. I did not give you three options, limited. You will be thinking, sir, something else is there. For example, if I have given any four option, you have only limited. That is closed-ended. So we have to have open-ended and make it possible for the students to think well. That is what even Albert Einstein also says, education is not learning of the facts, definition, whatever you give information. It is not just like that, but the training of the mind to think. That is why I started the presentation slide also. Let us think. So after the completion also, let's think about it and reflect on what is that you have seen today? What is that you have seen today as 21st century skills, 21st century learning, so that what is your role? So a few tools I have said, you have to understand how do you make learner to think, not to remember, not to memorize it, not to go for rote learning. Make them to
to think with all the values to know to act to value right so these are the things basic things i want to talk to you today so it is exactly 245 so 10 minutes for discussion if you want to know more about it we can also discuss and show you some more tools if you are interested in so let us have a kind of discussion at the end yes thank you so much quite interesting topic while we are learning so it's a good session with you sir thank, thank you. you so much thank you any international seminar any discussions we can have for example uh, one small tips i will give you you are talking about um, something like solving problem so you want to uh, discuss about it then something called tools are there so i can show you this i am talking about this so how can i do for example i want to uh, make it as application right apply this so i can show this so while doing this is a slide right so i can show and talk and if i go here i wanted to uh, use this is not the presentation pen i will tell you how to do that for example i go here then i will be using red then i immediately i can take blue and immediately i take it green here so i can have different pens i can also teach and uh, line or if i want to say these are the essential points these are the essential point then i can make it circle then i can say what i am doing is getting your attention towards what is that highlighting the things here only you focus don't be distracted with other information so a lot of tools are there so we can do a lot of things with these tools okay um, people are asking usha rani asking how to engage students in problematic like situations subjects like okay um I don't know exactly like a kind of software or something tools I can suggest. Only thing is that you have to design a task where, for example, I will tell you, um, okay, small task I have. Instead of presenting as a thing, I will show you one here. This is for English. Imagine I am showing you the vocabulary and then meaning and then go ahead. It is a kind of presentation. But how to engage here? i ask what do you mean by data i might have taught them while teaching the subject then it becomes kind of flash card here so i can say this is a data data means you can understand discourage from doing something then again i ask what do you mean by something like intimidate then i talk about something like frightening or something like i say something meaning here then i can close it here it's kind of word to meaning, making them also use in the context, making them to construct new sentences. Again, I can have a kind of meaning and then ask them, can you remember the word? What do you see in this discourage here? So they will say, yeah, meaning I know. What is that word exactly? Is it that synonym? Then they will say, is it deter? Oh, yes, you are right. So we can ask them to think and then answer. So any kind of planning, when you design something, we have to make it so that students come forward. In the algorithmic, if you say, I don't exactly, because I'm not teaching that actually, sorry to say that, but only thing is that I can say, design the task. That is what I can say, task-based teaching. If you are using the tasks, yeah, I'm using only uh, PPT. This is a slide, yeah, this is the slide I'm using. So only in the slide, I'm whatever you have seen, it's only PPT, PowerPoint. So this is also one you can see here about the knowledge, Bloom's taxonomy. Since uh, engineering, everybody talks about Bloom's taxonomy in terms of knowledge, types of knowledge. Here, I hide it and then ask the students to understand based on the knowledge dimension. That is factual conception, procedural and recognition. So from factual to higher order. I told you that basic question too, like factual question too, inferential and analytical question. When it comes to the knowledge dimension and when it comes to cognitive that is thinking dimension first one will be remember basically remember 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 memorize memorize even in Baiju's advertisement also comes that your children will remember the concept forever that means they remember in the in the first stage they never go to the next one that is understand then we can understand apply and analyze we can say evaluate finally creativity so the creativity is the highest order that is what i always focus for creating that skill we have to have lateral thinking and design thinking so remember we know we generally do it so even the softwares whatever we use 
byju's and all it's only for remember only if you don't remember people think that you did not learn but actually today what i did it it's a kind of analyze is a kind of apply and make you to create your own tasks for example i can say remember with factual simple and remember with match this one metacognition what is it and finally i can also close it again still the time they complete it i can also do this activity continuously yeah okay okay can you please tell how to okay create the uh, present slide mm -hmm. which one this one okay yeah yeah sir this one and the previous one okay one minute okay i will tell you one clearly here um yes simply i will delete it just i will tell you what is there nothing is there only two things are there you can see here two shapes are there we can see here names and answer what i have done in the animation i will show you that because if i have all things it will be more here in the animation pane so you can see only four because if i open it you can see a lot of things confused so i will simplify for you so that you can understand there are two things i take the shape this shape one done and then copy take two that's it so we have two things are there so when i click here it should disappear it should appear and when i click here it should disappear and appear for example here here it is available right when i click here it comes when i click here it goes so what you have to do here you can see here there are uh, animations here you can see here when i click here i change the color of it something like black so when i click here and then go to the uh, animation here one is it should disappear when i click the data it should disappear and appear this then i have to go to here disappear fade away or disappear i can say and this one i have to say appear finish it's very simple only thing is that when i go here in the uh, options like here in the effect here we have to say in the timing when to go you have to trigger it so select the particular triangle that when to go this one and then okay and when to disappear here then you select it and go to the timing or options like not timing this trigger you can here also you can open trigger you can say with the triangle i think four so when i say here it works and then copy 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 paste it how many slides you want how many uh, flash cards you want so you can edit it how i edit it is like copy for example okay i remove it here for example if you select it it will be selecting the front not back side so if you want to select both then you have to select like that then both are selected here then i keep it here just uh, i will tell you is only one thing if you spend time what happens you select it and copy it and then keep it and then edit it later whatever words or whatever you want to have so this is very simple thing and then go right click and then make it as a back and edit the answer and then again you can say right click and then make it back that will be form done so easily you can create it okay somebody says elaborate some more on design thinking and uh, english language literature yeah okay somebody is asking kindly explain uh, once again about vue okay this is like vue map and uh, this is c map tool this is like c map tool i use it for brainstorming method also so Im imagine this is like brainstorming template i created for the students yeah this is the brainstorming what happens here the uh, students will answer new i will create it so that will be easier for you yeah imagine this is new okay so don't be confused uh, both are same kind of uh, software both are free so i will show you with the vue here i select it what design i want then i can go ahead and then enter here this is a topic and uh, you can say this is you can see this option as a link load that node you can create it with this take it one more and then create it here and create it here and create it here and then students will talk about yes and then you have to take it as a connection so you can connect it so you can connect it and then connect it and then connect it here you connect it later you can edit change color font color that is up to you what you want to do for example here 
how I have changed the color that you can do based on the theme of the particular information and then make it as a presentation. There is something uh, option here, window, something here, presentation that you can go. There is something here, presentation builder. If you click it, it comes and you can present it. If I, uh, okay, one minute, I will show you very quickly. Imagine this is um, one, okay, this is a topic. And the students are saying, sir, this is ICT. Okay, as you said, yes. So the tools that students are saying, one is ICT and um, I keep it here. Then next I select it faster and then click it here. This is virtual learning. And somebody said about digital literacy. Then I say digital literacy, yes. Then students also talk about something about thinking skills. So what are the thinking skills? Then faster, I say thinking. And what are thinking? People say it is about creativity. And somebody says about uh, critical, right? Then somebody also says about collaboration, so CL. So imagine I typed it, done. So this is for, for your um, brainstorming method. So this is looking very small for you, but um, I will tell you here, you generally increase that, then it will be more interesting and clear and change the color. Then I go ahead. That's what I showed you, the other template. So I already take the color so that it will be little bigger size for the people those who are using mobile screen. Then I can go ahead with new. This is like question comes, then I can start editing whenever they say whatever. Whatever they say, then according to that, I edit it. Finally, we can make it as a presentation also. So you can click on the presentation builder. This I will show you what I have created. One minute, yes. Imagine this is there. You want to present it, these two concepts. Then I go there in the tools and then make a presentation builder. In a minute, I will show you. This first topic should come. That is first slide. Then I select these two. And this is second slide. Then I select all the three. This will be my next slide. And next will be asking question about thinking. Next, I'm going to show reveal all the things. So I select one by clicking the control button. Then I click it. Now my presentation is ready. I did not do all the colors because the faster I want to show you. Now I talk about the topic. What is today, 21st century? Then I ask, what are the tools you have said? Like you can say ICT and everything. And next I say thinking skill. What are the thinking skills? So like that you can expand and create your slides faster for presenting the concepts. And when it comes to engaging, we can have a lot of tasks as I have showed you here in this slide, in the Google slide, in the, sorry, in the PowerPoint slides like that. Yes, somebody also asked me a question, elaborate more, uh, some more on design thinking and uh, literature and language teaching. Uh, very good question because I will tell you when it comes to design thinking, creative thinking, mostly we go for creative writing, story writing, poetry writing, uh, making them to be engaged with singing. For example, just now I showed you with the, my students like poetry is mostly kind of appreciating the language. It's a kind of creative work. So I can also make the students to follow the rhyme and engage and then invent or identify whatever they try to uh, think, let them think. Don't say only this is the answer. For example, somebody says, uh, some questions are like this. Mm, I saw a snake, but here the activity goes like that. I saw dash. If it is design thinking, making them to say something else, I can say now it is a time to not just missing words, time to create new poetry similar to the same structure. They will say, I saw a bird. That will be more interesting. Somebody else will say something else. So they come up with the new stories. Otherwise, you can also give them some kind of uh, prompt questions. Then you can make them to start writing the story. For example, today in the morning, I was about to go to my college. I was waiting for bus. I saw there is a purse on the road. That's it. That is that is that. Uh, that's what I say. Then I give the context that Today you asked parents money to pay fee, but they don't have. If you come to the college, they will ask you not to enter without the fee, but you need money. At the same time, your moral value says, when you see the parts, it is not mine. We have to also return. But when you see the parts inside, there is ID card. 
you have the phone number and id card everything is there so what will you do i end the story so the students will give different answer we'll say sir today i pay money tomorrow you give uh, evening i call them otherwise i take it and go and give and then get get gift from them or i will request them to borrow money so different way think different idea the divergent thinking different stories will be there so that is really good to create some kind of creative thinking by giving the prompt ideas yes any other question right i tell you one thing you may be thinking uh, it will be uh, taking time to construct uh, this kind of animations or something it is correct how it is correct only it is time consuming when you make it only one only one for example here if you create only one only once you create this okay you use it repeatedly again and again and again it will be more interactive and effective also for example i have here right for this i have been using for different purposes what i do i also use it for um, predicting what is there inside for example i will also give you one small tips here um something like with the image for example here i also ask people to choose one to three what is your number what is your number what is your number then people say my number is 2 my number is 3 my number is 1 but i created only once that means in my life i have spent some 10 minutes for creating only one but i can have different activity then i say you got it this so there is a something a uh, story on for 8th 7th standard something like lucky game okay then i ask oh you got watch oh very lucky then i say here try again or something or again i say it's a kind of game for them so create once and use many times this is one way i can say it is like kind of game and again we can also have a kind of uh, predicting what is there by looking at for example um i will tell you faster yeah imagine this again the same thing but i have usage like used for different purposes for assessment one minute faster i can show you so i'm saying you that you spent little time for creating tasks like that see these are my slides like when you say it takes time to create it but once you create it it will be more useful to design and then make it like this mm, yeah here you can see something here the same but look at it i have used for different purposes i ask what do you see from here people can can you try one minute what do you see here cat okay cat very good then what do you see here third one Yes. Is it horse? Which is horse? Yeah. Giraffe. Okay, this is giraffe. Third okay. Giraffe. This is dog. Dog. Very good. Even though I confuse you by looking at the ears as a horse because horse always upside. So I chose the picture so that people get confused. So I want you to pay attention more than they can tell. So different things we can do by just creating only one. This is nothing. how i create it is is very simple i will tell you this is same you create it one okay small one and take copy this is just a copy have a different color and then keep it here then make it different designs you like it no problem then you select this go to animation and here you have to say the side you have to go like which side you want to yes it is coming down then i have to go and say it's upside so it's coming up so you can say something reduce the duration it's up to you then you can say here i kept it so when it should move when it should move then i have to go and then select it this one i have to select it and then go to the trigger one when it is clicked the rectangle or uh, four it should going up that's it now i have to done this is very simple one so when i present it when i click it it will go up it goes so i can reduce faster so i increase the fast here but if you reduce it it goes for example i make it 1.5 this will be correct duration so i keep it here when you see it goes very slowly you can see that's it simple action so once you create it you can copy it and use it for picture use it for concept 
use it for activity, everything. So second one question is how you created close text. Yes. Yeah, sorry for that. I did not mention here. This this software is exe. You can see that something like exe. Can you see here? Exe software for creating interactive activity. You can see here interactive activity. Here it is already there. Only thing is that you have to choose the close and then start following the instruction here. When you say here, I will show you just one. So it's already close activity started here. Then what is the instruction you want to give the students? And then this text, what is exactly text text you want to copy, paste, or type here? You can also copy and paste it here and then start creating your own way of like you know giving different options are there here. You can create it. If they answer well, you can say here feedback, excellent, very good, congratulations. If they're not writing correctly, then you can say try again, try again. For example, here, if you say students are answering, imagine that. Um, Okay, this is uh, showing the answer. And um, yeah, the feedback comes as try again. Then I go here, try again. When I get, yes, very good. So that kind of immediate feedback also you can create it with this exe. This is very simple one, already designed. Once you create that, you have to export as HTML. You can see here, export and as a single page or website page, then we can send that students so that they can start playing with the quiz uh, drop down arrow, you can say, even if you, I have connected with the GeoGebra with my social science students and interactive video, you can create it. Yeah, okay, somebody wants little slow. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can create it here, interactive video. You can also have the link with the YouTube link. You can add here, YouTube link, link here. And in each minute, you can stop, ask the question so that they can directly answer while listening to the lecture. For example, you are sending your students for 10 minutes video and you have some questions for them. So after the classroom, you can create it and then you can send it to them so that they can listen. While listening, exact minute, they get the question. So they have to answer. Otherwise, they can listen continuously. When they click the questions, they can go to the particular minute and then listen again. For example, this particular question has answer in the particular particular second or time, it goes that. Then they can answer, listen by, and then answer that. So this is like interactive video, not just one way listening that we can create it, or multiple choice question, or scrambled you can take, or true or false. Many activities you can create it here so that the students will be interested in. Uh, I will tell you one thing. It is not possible to learn in a day. This is like one semester for the students I train them. So this is like exe file and uh, VUE software and the flow chart and all. For one semester, we will be giving them how to create close. It's a kind of assignment they do and then submit to me. Then we will correct it and give them some creative ideas, how it will be more interesting. How can you also record your own voice? The student has given here her own voice. So same like, even online you can take it, we can also create it. So for zitting also, you can also create it, very simple one. This is like how I create it. This is mainly for interaction from the participants. You can say here, only just nine slides I created. The last one is thank you. You just leave, first one is topic two. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So only six. If I have a lot of things in same, it will be boring. So six for interaction, uh, four, five slides for teaching, like having kind of uh, 21st century. Again, come for some concept, have interaction question. Then again, finally, we have some more activities, examples, software introduction. So here I can give you one small thing you can understand here. What is that I am like trying to say here? For example, here, when it comes, you can see here, it goes to zitting. That is, when I say multimodal teaching, right? It is multimodal presentation type. Interaction, that is what I have clearly mentioned. Interaction was there, very good. Discussion was there, you agree with me, yes. Again, some roles of the teacher, I made you to realize what is the main thing that you have to do by understanding this. So this is a presentation. So this is a presentation. After the presentation, whenever there is a task, for me to indicate, I have small something like I have kept it here so that I understand that some task is coming. So this is a task starts. Then little task over, then I'll say different varieties of tasks. And then we can say some information. So what happens, I'm breaking the monotone instead of having the same type. So if you do that, 
mind will be expecting something new what is next what is next not the same thing if you are repeating the same song you will be bored of sometimes so what do you do you want next song same way for teaching also have a multi model teaching so students will be finding new new things time is up oh time is up very faster they realize it yeah so these are the additional files if somebody needs like that i used to keep it so that somebody will be interested to know more about it assuming that frequently asked question i keep it ready so that you know we can have a kind of discussion yeah any other doubt i think it's done yeah let me stop my presentation Good. Thank, thank you, you so thank much. you so much, uh, Arul Garu, and let, let Lavanya Madam over to you. Your comments. Yeah. yeah. Uh, good evening, Arul sir. After listening to your presentation, it is we feel like saying good morning to the classroom again. A wonderful way of putting. It's like you know the shot given to the teachers to. Uh, face the new norms <clears throat> but uh, you know the interest is so beautiful that question about design thinking was from me actually so oh, nice <laughs> I was, we have been going on a big way about design thinking and uh, all these faculty are being trained and getting into those courses but it Wonderful. has been looked at from the perspective of the <clears throat> technical people so we're wondering can we have some kind mm -hmm. of research in that area also Maybe we'll have one more discussion with the permission of uh, uh, Neelab sir, uh, Panda sir. <clears throat> ma'am, yes ma'am. We can sit and how we can bring that into the research also. But wonderful sir, thank you. We've been listening to so many things. You kind of peeled it like a banana, ready to chew things. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you very much. Wonderful sir. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, so uh, a small uh, request to all of you. Please switch on your camera so that we can take a uh, uh, video or oh, sorry, picture of all of us to capture. Please switch on your video. Please switch on your video so that we can. Yes. Same. Yeah, Ram Krishna sir and other people, please join. <coughs> Which one of you also should be there, no? Madam has gone out. Okay. okay. Uh, Vinukta Madam uh, told us she is in. Uh, what is that? No. Please join, I told, but she is not there. Okay. So. Yes, Chinmay, will you take a, a big camera? Chinmay, yeah. Yes, sir. It is done. Okay, Radha has already taken it. Okay, that's a great thing. Okay, thank you very much. Let me, uh, yeah, uh, please uh, propose the vote of thanks. Meghna, over to you. Yeah, sir. All swell that ends well. I, Meghna, on behalf of Dr. Neela M. Panda, Department of English, convener of the webinar series, Profoundly thank Dr. P. Aral Nehru, the speaker of the day, for his brilliant, informative, and lucid presentation. I am indebted for your cooperation and intellectual deliberation, and we look forward to have such great talks like this in the coming sessions. I thank our principal, Sir Dr. L. Koteshwar Rao, for his benevolence, Dr. Srikant, Dean Skills, FED coordinator, Dr. Vinitna, other functionaries of the university, mostly the staff who supported me in making everything smooth. 
thanks to my department and special thanks to vera and sinma for their timely support thank you so much to all the intellectuals the learned participants for their passionate and active participation and i hope many more will join us in the course of this lecture series thank you everyone thank you thank you megana i thank you personally and uh, my special thanks goes to uh, lavanya madam who has uh, instigated all these things you no know, sitting over there and that is really a wonderful session arul and i hope we will call arul on a special day yes. uh, uh, to call on uh, to campus and to go for a workshop because he is he masters the art of how to get into things rather than of you no know, a superficial talk you know. uh so that is what you know that is that is the speciality that he has so it's rather better to draw drag him from mysore to hyderabad or vijayawada and sit with him and learn things than that of you know learning in a distance mode or a online or a virtual mode okay hopefully lavanya madam is happy to you know, welcome him okay sure, sure, sure. and we'll do that we'll do that sir first of all i have to thank everybody by giving me such opportunity for meeting you and uh, come to know that it is more useful and uh, informative <laughs> session really i have to thank uh, panda sir for inviting and uh, appreciate ma'am lavanya ma'am saying that feedback <laughs> really good really good ma'am thank you so much okay thank you very much uh, to all of you uh, uh, vijay kumar behra is my friend okay dr vijay okay swati madam is there from kit he is from nlsa yes. uh national law university and so on and so forth and jagannath patnaik garu and uh, satyanand samlan radha and everybody everybody out there thank you so much thank you so much and namaste uh namaste to all and i hope that we are, we are, we are releasing if if you talk about that i am releasing the next one the next speaker is gopal nayak she is a oxford student okay she is alumnus of our oxford writing uh, presently working with op jindal Okay, she was there in JNU. She left JNU and joined OP Jindal because I've known a lot many things. Okay, and she's coming and she's talking about image building in the uh, 21st century online classes. So next Thursday, because she's uh, not free on uh, Friday, so she told that Thursday is okay with me. I told that it's okay. Whatever you say, okay, I okay with that. Okay, the next uh, one is Gopanayak, and the next one is. Vikram Devi. Vikram Devi is a linguist. By the way, is a Mata uh, Mata University somewhere in Jammu. So we we this is a national seminar. So I I tossed uh, Arul and I'm going to the Himalayas and I'm touching almost everybody, every place of that uh, length and breadth of. Uh, and the the next one is that we are going for an international uh, talk as we promised Lavanya ma'am. and that no we are going for international speaker and uh, one minute lavanya madam i'd like to talk about that three days academic writing we are doing on 23rd 24th 25th 23rd 24th 25th uh, academic writing workshop madam and uh, hopefully uh, uh, you are there so i'm cool so i have no problem because anything everything you will be taking care of <laughs> i'm i'm sharing uh, the uh, speakers the topic and all the things the concept note and all and so hopefully uh, that will help uh, both your um, what you call it no scholars over there and the scholars over here and uh, if you take would like to take it some way other we can uh, accommodate or change it as it wants yeah, yeah. we'll sit over that sir. we'll talk over that okay thank you thank you so much and arul i hope that you are coming uh, to the international yes. conference and madam is going for a national conference yeah. but national yeah. conference is reserved for only ladies no, okay i didn't but say that i didn't say i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry but no uh, she is talking about because she has no, no other go to go because she was pressed to take to take that one otherwise she is talking panda sir is conceding it very <clears throat> uh, you know reluctantly but uh, No, 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 no. Well, I'm not really friendly. No, no, no. I think it is a no, very no. good subject, by the way. Well, let me put it this way. I'm no. I'm especially. I'm waiting. I haven't released the dates because now I'm looking for resource persons. The men. Please, please, please. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, let me complete. No, wait, complete. Resource persons who are going to talk about the strength of women. 
the male resource person, men, who are going to talk about the strength of women, I'm looking for them, actually. <laughs> you want a male to talk about women? I want men, not a man. Yeah, men why not, sir? Because I have also presented <laughs> in Osmania okay. University, Women Empowerment. Yes. So I'll get to you, sir. I'll take yeah. his uh, partner, sir's uh, help in contacting you. No he's, help, uh, madam. You, you like can call me anytime. Says, madam, no, no help. Says, I'm present. No help. <laughs> No, no, anytime, no. anywhere, I'm there. Oh, he says it is for women. I said, no, it is for everyone. <laughs> yes, yeah, so thank you very much. Okay, madam, uh, that I was talking about, no, is it okay that we can call a uh, movie, movie character heroine? Huh? Bollywood, Bollywood, yes, not yes. Hollywood, not, not Bollywood. They will, they'll talk, sir. Okay, madam. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. Yes. Namaste, all yeah. of you. Thank you. Everyone. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you, Arul. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.